how about them variables, which we'll be learning about in this lesson. So, do you remember X and Y from algebra? I'm sure you've used the quadratic formula like a million times since high school. Or how about the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared? All those X's and Y's and A's and B's are variables that represent values. PHP also lets you create variables. They can be numbers like in algebra. There are two different types of numbers in PHP, integers and floats. Integers are regular numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 10. Floats are decimal numbers, like 2.7 or 0.345. Variables can be words or letters, like hello world. This is known as a string. They can also be more complex things, like arrays, objects, or files. But we'll get to those later. Variables are declared with a dollar sign. Let's make a ray, bitches! Followed by the name of the variable. How pimp is that? Remember that variables are case sensitive. That means that name and name are treated as different variables. Try to make your variable names make sense. Basically, don't name them random shit, or the next person who looks at the code is going to think you're on crack. Bad, you and if you shit. have to look back at your code in a few months, you'll probably think the same thing. Variables can contain letters, numbers, and underscores, but cannot start with a number. Let's create a variable called my name and assign it a value um, like my name. We can now print this value to the screen like this. There are lots of things we can do with variables. We can do math, for example. The basic math operators are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, pretty much what you'd expect. You can also combine strings together with a period. It's called concatenation, and it looks like this. There's a second way we can combine strings together. If we use double quotes on a string, PHP automatically substitutes the values of any variables in the string. This is known as string interpolation. Pretty handy. Next up, we'll be talking about conditional statements. And you better be paying attention.